There was a bit of a qualitative component to the surveys that we did with families, just, you know, asking them to write in, like, what were some of the things that they did think were silver linings or did benefit from? And there were many people who said, you know, I'm actually appreciating having more time with my kids. I'm actually appreciating a slowing of the hustle bustle. And so there are aspects of how our life shifted and changed that worked well for some people. And I think in, you know, that's not to discount uh, a lot of, of challenge that was there. And, and I think a uh, challenge that wasn't equally distributed, you know, across groups and things like that, uh, you know, service delivery and telemental health, we saw a dramatic shift in the availability of those types of supports. And I can say as a you know, practitioner myself, there's so many barriers pre pandemic to be able to engage in telemental health that COVID happened. It was like, woo, we're all doing teletherapy. (laughs) And, and I talked to my colleagues now who are working in mental health care, who are, you know, working in hybrid models and things like that. How wonderful for people that they can now both have access more easily barrier free to mental health services, but also for the practitioners to be able to, uh, you know, perhaps take a little bit care, better care of themselves or who are traditionally, uh, I think providers who often experience burnout and who there's a high level of turnover and things like that. This idea that you could do it, have appointments in your home, I think is, is really wonderful.